like one to one interviews from the companies where you can get hired and there are also open source days which are indeed amazing so yeah and apart from this you you also get some goodies from the companies that they send to your homes and there are also like vouchers that you get तो हेलो गाइस क्या हाल चाल है आप सबके आई एम रोहन गोयल अ सेकेंड ईयर कंप्यूटर साइंस अंडर ग्रेड स्टूडेंट तो वेलकम टू माय चैनल टुडे वी आर हैविंग स्नेहा अग्रवाल शी हैज गॉट ग्रास हॉपर सेलिब्रेशन स्कॉलरशिप 2021 जिसे आप जीएचसी स्कॉलरशिप के नाम से भी जानते हैं फ्रॉम अनीता बी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन तो आज हम इस वीडियो में उनसे स्कॉलरशिप के बारे में जानेंगे कैसे उन्हें इस अपॉर्चुनिटी के बारे में पता लगा कैसे कैसे आप अपनी एप्लीकेशन को दूसरों से अलग बना सकते हैं कैसे आपके एप्लीकेशन में कुछ हटके होगा और बहुत सारी चीज़ें To get the maximum benefit from this video, please watch the video till the end. And अगर आपने हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं कराया अभी तक तो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट एंड टर्न द बेल नोटिफिकेशन ऑन टू गेट टाइमली अपडेट्स अबाउट द अपकमिंग अपॉर्चुनिटीज अरे टेंशन नहीं लेने का आप उन्हें ना सो हाई स्नेहा कैन यू प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ Hello Rohan. Uh, hello everyone. I am Sneha Agarwal, a pre-finally a computer science engineering student at Vanasthali Vidya Peet, and today I'll be guiding you about GHC uh, scholarship and everything that you need to know before applying for the C. So, can you please tell about this scholarship? Is me kya kya hota hai? Kaise kaise conference hoti hai? Okay, so GHC basically stands for Grace Hopper Celebration, and it's the world largest conference of women technologists. so it's a kind of career fair where you'll find women across the globe uh, sharing their experiences in the industry you'll also find companies uh, will be, which will be arranging their one to one interviews so uh, apart from this there are open source days there are also um, sponsor halls there are multiple events that you can be a part of and uh, gth basically is a celebration right so for that there is a entry ticket which is not free of cost so there is an organization by anita b which has started this initiative which provides uh, students who are like women in technology so they provide uh, a scholarship where they can be uh, like given the access the ticket basically to attend gnc and uh, the travel funding so like last year it was pandemic uh, because of that it was virtual and it was also named as bgnc which is virtual grace hopper celebration but this year it is going to be both ways that is hybrid like offline and uh, online both ways so yeah that was pretty much it about uh, ghc scholarship so what are the main benefits of this scholarship and this conference also ghc conference okay uh, so the perks are basically like a mix of both mentoring and both networking see uh, ghc basically involves like women who hold great positions in their domain right so you get to learn so much apart from this there are like professional development that you are getting like one to one interviews from the companies where you can get hired and there are also open source days which are indeed amazing so yeah and apart from this you you also get some goodies from the companies that they send to your homes and there are also like vouchers that you get so it's it's a worth attending uh, conference So, how was your experience at this scholarship, at this conference? Or, आपको इसके बारे में पता कैसे चला? Okay, so I got to know this uh, like about uh, GHC from my friend, and she and me both were like selected as the scholars. So we had a great time. Uh, it was a five day gala, and we every day was an amazing event, and we got so much to learn there. We we met so many people, and we also like. growed in both ways like we uh, felt like that uh, so much we learned from their experiences and apart from this we also uh, like met so many uh, strong headed people like who had the same perspective like us so yeah it was an amazing experience so what is basically the eligibility criteria of this scholarship okay so the eligibility criteria is very simple that you need to be a full time student enroll in any degree in the college uh, not only uh, not only the time when you are applying for the same but when you will be attending the conference uh, like you need to be ungraduated in the month of september as well so scholarship ke forms kab open hote hain aur conference hamari kab hoti hai 
Okay, see the farms usually open during the month of February and March. Like right now they are open and uh, the last date is probably 9th of March and you can apply uh, till then anytime and it depends like last year it was a little late but yeah it depends like last year it was during uh, May. So it depends but right now uh, the last date is 9th of March and the conference basically is conducted during the September uh, month which is 27 September to 1st of October. So last year it was like a kind of five days gala for all the techies and the creative heads. So it was a five day program that is from 27 to 1st of October and it can vary this year. Okay. okay. So what is the whole application procedure? I saw that there are such questions. So how do they answer them? How okay. can we answer them in the right way? Okay, so uh, like uh, the application procedure is uh, pretty simple. For that, you'll be having essay questions uh, followed by LOR. So LOR is nothing but the letter of recommendation. So uh, for that, you need to ask any of your faculty or any of your teachers or uh, like any of your professional built relation that can write about you. And uh, you can, what you can do is you can tell about your uh, like uh, technical skills so that they can write a better uh, like better perspective of what they felt like and uh, about the essays see there are some points that i wanted to tell like uh, while writing essays make sure that you are writing your unique content you are writing everything that is related to your personal experiences and uh, never ever like think of plagiarism uh, because it is something which will leave a very bad impact and it is never gonna uh, get you selected Apart from this, make sure that you're showing that you're, uh, that you're enthusiastic towards the program and you're willing to contribute. And the major, major thing that you need to keep in mind is show them that you have a passion towards technology. Even when you do not possess a very high technical profile, you need to make them, um, make them look like that you want to contribute and you are really passionate about what you want to contribute. So yeah, these are the things that you need to take care of. And after that, what you can do is you can ask your friends, peers to review your essays and you're good to go then. So it is not mandatory to ask LOR from your college teacher. You can, you can ask from any person. Yeah, we can do yeah. that, but make sure that you possess some professional built relation. Uh, it shouldn't be like that. Uh, your father is a teacher and you're asking for that. But it should be that. Uh, he or she are professionally connected like in a case uh, your father is the like uh, college uh, professor that should work fine like he's also teaching you at the same time so that is okay but make sure that you have some professional relation with them okay okay so is there any particular community work or any work jo hume apne resume mein dalna hota hai jisse hamare selection ke chances increase ho jaye See, uh, for the resumes, I believe that it needs to be a little tech based, but um, like make sure uh, to mention each and uh, each and every little detail that you've done before. Like a lot of friends of mine thinks that uh, this is not worth mentioning, but I believe that whatever you have done on your own, you should uh, you should be writing it there because uh, it's like purchasing clothes and not wearing it. So it is something that you should definitely mention each and everything that you did. Right. And apart from this, uh, talking about community work, like uh, if you could just mention something about women empowerment, that'll be great. Like I opened the YouTube channel um, past year. So it was like not that very, uh, the response was not that very great. But yeah, I did mention that. And uh, I believe that it was something which actually helped me in this. So yeah, you should be mentioning um, if you have something about woman, uh, women empowerment. That should be great. Okay. So, I mean, what you are, that is what you show. There is no need to add anything extra to it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, do not fake it because uh, obviously there is no interview, but still uh, you need to make sure that you are uh, you are being judged on what you need to know it, right? In uh, in maybe in the conference, you get to face something that you might not be knowing and you have already hyped. So, it's better to stay original and stay what you have written. So, what is the common selection percentage criteria and what is the judging criteria how they judge you your application see uh, the uh, like judging criteria is basically the same again there are a few points that they want to uh, see in your application your passion towards technology 
ये लाइक हाउ मच हैव यू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन वुमेन एम्पावरमेंट एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस वन थिंग दैट लाइक आर यू एंड इंथुसियास्टिक पर्सन और नॉट दीज ऑल थिंग्स दैट हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन यू एज पॉइंट इन योर एस एस दैट शुड वर्क फाइन इफ यू हैव लाइक ऑल दीज थिंग्स पर्सिस्ट इन यू यू आर लाइक अ परफेक्ट मैच फॉर बींग सिलेक्टेड एज अ जी एच सी स्कॉलर इन द लास्ट अगर आप कुछ ऐसी चीज बताना चाहो जो आपको स्कॉलरशिप में जाके वर्थ हिट लगी मतलब ये तो होनी ही चाहिए ऐसे कुछ आपके साथ इंसिडेंट हुआ हो या कुछ चीज या लाइक देर वर वन टू वन इंटरव्यूज विच वॉज लाइक फ्रॉम लॉट मेनी गुड कंपनीज लाइक आई गॉट इंटर्न बिफोर दैट बट आई रियली होप लाइक इफ आई वुड हैव नॉट बीन इंटर्न बिफोर दैट आई रियली वॉन्टेड टू गेट इंटरव्यू फ्रॉम दैम बिकॉज इट्स यूज and also uh, when you give so many interviews you learn so much that you realize your mistakes and you grow more even more right so it's uh, it's something that i felt i missed and something uh, that i i felt like it is just worth like uh, that is um, me and my friends were like there attending open source days right so everyone was contributing to the project so this one thing like really helped me develop my open source skills so this was the best thing that i felt there and uh, apart from this the obviously the perks so the goodies were amazing <laughs> yeah yeah so what were in the goodies okay so uh, like there were companies like hrt and there were also companies like um, james street so in the goodies there were uh, like uh, bottles there were shirts there were caps there were lot many things i don't remember exactly uh, apart from this there were uh, vouchers of uh, like um, around 2 3000 so yeah it was amazing so thank you sneha for this really amazing session so guys agar aapko koi bhi doubt hai to aap comment section mein pooch sakte hain and i will also share the linkedin profile of sneha so in case of any queries you can also dm her so guys agar aapko ye video achhi lagi ho to please like the video and share this video with your friends in your college groups so that all students ko bhi is opportunity ke bare mein pata lag sake